You guys are sharp. <laughs> I don't know about you, this is the second time this week I'm wearing cufflinks. You know, Mr. Anderson, I heard the underclassmen were born for a return to jacket and tie. I think you can make it happen. Good afternoon and welcome. I would like to acknowledge and thank my family, friends, brothers of the Sacred Heart. Hey, where's Brother Michael Yerkes? Someone tell him I'm looking for him. As well as the esteemed faculty administration, my senior, my senior Andrew Zaraleta, and of course, my fellow members of the class of 2012 for making the past four years as memorable and amazing as they were. As a class, we have been privileged to complete our senior year amidst the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the establishment of St. Joseph High School. The occasion of St. Joe's golden anniversary is a reflection of the school's storied history, while the upcoming celebration of graduation is a reflection on our own past. Moreover, it is a time to look to the future. These hallowed halls were opened while the nation was under the leadership of President Dwight D. Eisenhower, and when St. Joe's was under the guidance of Brother Ronan. Since then, the world has borne witness to the turmoil of the Vietnam War, the Cold War, and conflict in the Middle East. We've also seen technological advances of social networking and alternative energy, as well as social changes such as Title IX and affirmative action that have increased gender and racial equality, highlighted by the election of President Barack Obama in 2008. Amidst all this innovation, St. Joe's has embraced the changing face of society over the past five decades, evolving to keep pace with the times, all the while maintaining a well-defined identity a Catholic institution in the tradition of the Brothers of the Sacred Heart, one that demands continued excellence from its students and expects nothing less. The great philosopher Aristotle once wrote, We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? The Greek concept of arete perhaps best captures the Falcon philosophy of a standard of excellence. The word most nearly means reaching your highest human potential, being the best that you can be, never being satisfied. What better motto embodies our four years at St. Joe's? We entered the school as young boys and are now departing four years later as men of excellence, having focused our efforts and energies on preparing ourselves for college and life beyond. I'm proud to stand before a class so diversely talented. National history champions, all-American athletes, men committed to representing our nation at United States military academies, scholars attending the top universities in the nation. As a class, we have demonstrated the spirit of excellence in a variety of ways. We have exhibited success in the athletic arena capturing 20 county championships after lacrosse's effort on Thursday, and seven state titles during our four years. Our academic teams have consistently earned statewide and national recognition, most notably through the success of the College Bowl, but also in the achievements of Math League, Science League, Model UN, and Robotics as well. Most importantly, we have been quick to lend a hand to those less fortunate in the community. We spearheaded a food drive campaign that raised over $21,000 for charity. We repeatedly allocated the proceeds of Campus Casual Days collections to the members of the extended St. Joe's families that represent meaningful causes. What has made the St. Joe's environment so unique is the attitude of teamwork and respect prevalent throughout these accomplishments. The growing diversity in the school has fostered cooperation and embraced cultural identity rather than creating divisive boundaries. I reflect most fondly on the sense of camaraderie and cooperation rather than cutthroat competition in the academic setting that has led to these such accomplishments. That is why I am proud to graduate as a member of the class of 2012. Most importantly, I know that I can share in that pride with graduates of the past and of the future. In less than a week, when we depart the Cathedral of St. Francis, we will be able to claim our spot among the more than 8,000 alumni of St. Joseph High School. 
I personally have a link to a half dozen family members that share the bond of a St. Joseph High School education, as do 10 of my fellow graduates. As members of the St. Joe's family, we all share in a connection with the alumni base because of that indelible commitment to success. Each and every student that passes through these halls, ourselves included, has helped define the St. Joe's way. It's more than just avoiding the seal or winning county swim titles. It embodies taking pride in one's character. It epitomizes taking pride in a commitment to excellence. I would like to leave you all today with a reflection on the future. We all know too well the volatility of life. The passing of Corporal Kevin Reinhardt, class of 2005, as well as Brother Robert Shearley, are reminders that God may call any one of us home at any point. What better way to live life than to strive for excellence in all that we do? We too must continue to evolve in the face of a, global, of a changing global landscape, but all the while maintaining the core values which have been instilled upon us by St. Joe's education. I would like to return 50 years from now to find that St. Joseph High School is, at its core, exactly the same as I left it. Perhaps with a third field or two. Congratulations and good luck to the class of 2012.